Hello friends, welcome to our channel Creating Essence. I am Megan, I'm so glad you're here today. We are getting some more of the fall garden in, so I thought I would bring you along for the adventure. It is such a beautiful day today. We've been getting a hint of fall, which has been amazing, and I am unspeakably grateful for that. We love living in Central Virginia. It does get pretty hot in the summertime, but the earlier spring and later fall kind of makes up for that but we're always really grateful when fall does start to come around because we're definitely ready for it. Our brassicas, for the most part, are doing really well and are really happy. Some of that pak choy in the middle is particularly happy, but unfortunately, it just was too hot after we planted our lettuce and greens right in here. So most of what had started has died. There's a little bit like this here and there, but for the most part, even though we had sprouts of lettuces all through here, it just, we had too many of those days that were too unbearably hot and everything is gone. Okay, not everything. We do have some tiny kale coming up here, but honestly, this is stuff that didn't sprout until after the week that killed everything. So the stuff that didn't come up initially and came up later is almost all that has survived. So we are going to replant as much of that as we can. We don't have all of the seeds that we had when we put that in because some of that we used up the last of it. So we're gonna do what we can. And we're also going to seed right in here that was a large part of our tomato patch during this summer. I've got my helpers going. Ella is over there doing some weeding. Aaron is supposed to be helping her too, but he disappeared. Any idea where Aaron went, Ella? Uh, he said he was going to throw away some trash. Okay, thank you. Gabe is over there picking some cherry tomatoes because I noticed we had quite a few growing. It dried and now it shakes like Oh nice, put it in there, we can save the seeds. And Annie just ran inside to get a container so that she can uh, pick the serranos that are ready so that I can get them going in the dehydrator. Don't you love my big floppy hat? Redhead problems. I am going to go ahead and start raking back the wood chips right here in this area to prep it for planting so that I can make the rows. We got something blossoming over here. Oh, growing. Pak choy. Pak choy. Hey. Still got tomatoes coming? Yep. All right, so we have the first row raked back. And how it works with Back to Eden is that when you're planting things, you rake back or pull back the wood chips until you get to the soil underneath and then you dig into and plant in the soil which is what we'll do with this first row and when the little plants start coming up we will just gently push these wood chips back in around them to help be a weed barrier and to compost down and continue protecting it. One thing a lot of people worry about with the Back to Eden Garden method is that because wood chips take nitrogen away, but it is proven that while yes, in the first year of decomposition, they may take more nitrogen, during subsequent years, they supply exponentially more nitrogen to the soil. We like to get a good balance of supplying the new seeds and plants when we put them in with not only compost but some fish emulsion which is a really great immediately available easily absorbed source of nitrogen for the plants i got the watering can thank you now that we have the row all nice 
and softened up and the soil loosened, I'm gonna go through and get some seeds in. Today I'm planting a few different things. Um, we have some broadleaf Batavian endive from MI Gardener, some bib butterhead lettuce, some red Russian kale from Seeds for Generations, some tricolor romaine from Seeds for Generations, some tatsoi mustard greens, again, Seeds for Generations, then Bloomsdale spinach, and dinosaur kale, also from Seed for Generations. I also have some more rainbow chard from MI Gardener. I'm gonna get all of these things in. The lettuces I think I'm going to replant over there where we had initially planted them because the sun should be less intense now than it was three weeks ago when we first put it in. But hopefully, hopefully, It'll work, we will see. It's my first time trying to grow lettuce in the fall, except for a little bit of romaine that we did last year. So I'm not really sure about the nuances of growing fall lettuces, but I know that these greens should do really well and I'm very excited about these Seeds for Generation seeds that I got. I've never purchased from them before, but they are semi-local to me, a little bit further west and I've heard really great things about their company. So I love supporting small business and I love supporting local business. So I'm really excited to see how these do. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. That first row is done, so we're gonna move on and do the next rows until either the space is all used up or we run out of seeds. right here is a little hard because it was in what was the path through the tomatoes during the summer garden. So I'm putting down some compost because it was a little firm in here just to give it a bit of a head start in this section on getting a good foot in the soil. Robbie? Yep. And kale. You love kale. I mean, you gotta feed something to the bugs. <laughs> Alright, Annie, will you finish watering that row right there? Mm -hmm. While we are over here working in the garden, looks like Solomon has found a leak in the hose over there and is treating it like his personal water park and riding a scooter through it. What are you doing, Solly? Oh, you're washing the scooter. That's nice. So you all might see these or their green outdoor counterpart in our gardens at times. These are just borax ant traps. See the ingredients? We only put them in the garden rows where there are ants. 
<laughs> that are eating seeds or plants. And uh, as much as I would like to let the different wildlife, including bugs, live, uh, the ants will demolish our entire crop. So we call this a compromise since it's toxic to ants, but it really only attracts ants. You two are making really great progress on this weedy patch over here. Thanks. Good job. You called off the weapon, I called off the twig. I started prepping this over here to replant all the lettuces. But unfortunately, I found more ants. You can see right there. I got another ant trap and cut the bottom off it and put it right in there, hoping that will put a dent in the anthill and uh, we'll come back in a day or two and actually get those lettuces planted for the second time. Thank you for your help. Mm -hmm. And that is it for today, my friends. We have, I would say all the fall garden in now. We have zucchini and summer squash growing in that corner. We have brassicas in that corner. We'll get those lettuces in, but they have such a short growing season that I'm pretty sure as long as the heat doesn't stroke them out again, <laughs> they'll be just fine. I can, I don't know. I'm always finding another seed to plop in in another spot. So maybe this isn't officially the fall garden is in. Maybe it is. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Our first frost doesn't usually come until the second or third week of November, though last year it came the third week of October and wiped out my whole fall garden and I literally cried. I'm hoping this year is a bit different. I would love to know what you all are growing in your fall garden. If you are in zone 7B, we're kind of on the line of 7A and 7B. Uh, how do you go about growing your lettuces in a fall garden? Or do you? Am I just a little crazy? <laughs> I would love to hear about it. Thank you all for sticking around today. If you like this video, as always, my friends, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to hang out for more. We'll see you again soon.